So again, every sport is on this list except for hockey. There's not really any hockey franchises on here, but the NFL is on here, soccer's on here, baseball and basketball is all on this list. So that's not bad. That's not bad. It's pretty widespread over the uh, the sports world with profitable franchises. And it looks like the Yankees just got a home run. It's 12-3. to 3. The Red Sox are winning, so that's good. <laughs> Buddy, I'm glad I'm glad that you're I'm glad that you're on here because the next thing I wanted to talk about is I got an article uh, from Brad Crawford about ten games that could be upsets in college football. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through the list here and see okay. um, see if you if you think any of these games could possibly be an upset. Uh, number ten, he has Clemson at Syracuse. Do you think that Syracuse can upset Clemson this year? No. No. Okay. No, I'm gonna go with Clemson. Okay. The next one. It had the Carrier Dome. Yeah, they're on the road. Yep, it's in Syracuse. Yeah, that they could they could is it an early season game? Yeah, September 14th. Yeah, it's an early season game. Yep. That's what week three. Yeah. So, and then the, the next one he has, he has Washington State and Houston on September 13th. So you think Washington State and Houston as the upset, then? He's got Houston as the upset, yeah. Beating Washington State, yep. No, no. Houston absolutely got drugged by Army. Like, they just won their game. I don't see it. And they, you know, that, you know they, and they beat up USF this year badly, so I hope Houston loses. <laughs> Um, the, uh, um, the, the number eight, buddy, he has Fresno State at USC. So I guess the upset would be Fresno State beating the Trojans. I don't know how they're going to. Are they planning on just like beating at USC in the tunnel before the game? Yeah. It's at USC. Yeah. Okay, that's a stretch. Yeah, yeah. There, there, there are some on here. There are some on here that I, that I think are kind of a stretch. Um, number seven, he has Colorado State beating Arkansas on September fourteenth. You see that happening? Yeah, but Arkansas sucks. So yeah. Is, is that much of an upset? I mean, no. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, I guess it's it. Yeah, they are. Yeah, play on Saturday nights, you know, and Colorado could see. They're dangerous. They give Colorado a game last year. Yeah. And it wasn't close, but, you know, it's it's possible. It's such an any given Saturday. Yeah, true. Saturday, anybody can beat anybody. Absolutely. I, I go firsthand. So. Well, and then, because the reason I wanted to kind of bring you on is because the next game I have is you guys against Wisconsin on the 21st. So he has you guys losing to the Badgers. So what do you think about that? Okay. Okay. It says here, he says he has showdowns against Notre Dame, Ohio State, and Penn State are games that every Michigan fan has circled this season. Would you agree with that, yeah, yeah. those three? More or less, yeah. Yeah, more or less. Um, I, Wisconsin, you know, I, well, for, for 
after the Notre Dame game, I took a whole game nail in there. Okay. The Notre Dame game, it's our last, no, that's not a conference game. So I just, no. I, but I got on every other, I, I want every one of those, whether it's lovely Rector and Doug and Brunswick or uh, Ohio State at the house. Okay. I want, I want to win every one of those. So, I, you know, I, as, a, as a football fan, as a Michigan guy, you know, when the season drops, I go and I circle, I, I clear my calendar, and I circle everything from August 31st all the way through November. So, you know, ah, it's fair there's enough. no small game. Yeah, absolutely. Now, I know there, there's, there's, you know, after those seven, you can't take any games for granted. You know, you've got to go out there, you got to put it all in, buy it off early, get out to a beat, play your game. Okay. If you're ready to play, you're ready to show up and put in the work. You know, games are won on Tuesday. Games are played on Saturday, they're won on Tuesday. Absolutely. It's in yeah. the film room, it's, it's uh, being prepared mentally, physically, emotionally. Not letting the moment get to you. I saw that last year. The moment got to us. We let the moment mm-hmm. get to us. Big games, big moments. It just, it just didn't have it. We're going to move on to the next one. I'm ready to move on. You ready? I'm ready. Um, and you know what? The funny thing is, you know, USF starts their season against Wisconsin, so we'll beat them up for you before they come. You have to play. Uh, the next one, yeah, the next one, buddy, has, yes, Utah State beating LSU. Now, as an SEC guy, I don't see that happening. Yeah, I don't see that happening. Yeah, I don't. I'm not sure. I, 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 I'm not, that I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I that that I that, that I don't see that that no I and I and I hate to be I hate to be a homer when I say you know the SEC but I just don't see that happening. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Utah State. Well, Utah, yes. Yeah. A late kick for you know, the seven o'clock, which would be ten o'clock start here, maybe, but not Utah State. Yeah. I mean, unless, of course, they're bringing baseball back too. I mean, we're just gonna go in there and knock the bloody stuffing out of them. Well, <laughs> you know, you know, if if you read my article, I picked Utah to win the Pac-12, and I got, I got, I had a guy tell me that I was on crack for that. So, <laughs> to let you know, that's what they told me. So, but hey, you know what? Everyone has an opinion, and I took that pick. No, not Utah State. It was Utah. Yeah. Yeah, it was Utah. It was, yeah. Um, the next one he has. Now, these games all get good the rest of the way down, I think. He's got Oklahoma at Baylor, so he's got Baylor beating him. That could happen. It's an, it's a long shot, but that could happen. Yeah, so Baylor's one of those teams that, you know, you're starting on your side looking at Indiana. We're always playing Indiana, and we always play the club. The Baylor is the Indiana of the um, Big Eight, whatever the hell that company is anymore. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So I can see that one. That one's not, that's not out of the realm of possibility. Honestly, I'm not going to take them. I'll take Oklahoma and the points. So well, uh, and I expect to call them and cover the spread. I, I don't know if you I don't know if you think. I think this is going to be the third year in a row that Oklahoma has a Heisman Trophy win. I think Jalen Hurts wins the Heisman Probably. this year again. Be the third. Yeah. Third year in a row that that's happened. Um, yeah. I really like to be a homer here and say that I just I just going to take it, but you know. Well, you know what, man? You know that. But see, man, that's why they play the games. We don't know. I mean, it could be that way. We could de- it could definitely end up that way. Jalen Ramsey was, was halfway decent, probably an NFL prospect, probably a third rounder in that Alabama offense. Now he goes out to Oklahoma, totally new offense. You know, he's going to have to, you know, he's going to have to learn a whole new offense. Now, you know, of course, he doesn't have to play like football all over again, but he has to be learn how to play offense yeah. in that system. And, and we've seen how you can take quarterbacks from, from out of one system and put them in another system. And they put it down. Allen says, you know, it's not, it's not that where you just take the guy who has better stats and put him with the, in the other system and automatically, you know, you win championships. Right. So I can see some growing pains in uh, Zach Norman. 
Hurts. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the next the next one he has, but is the Iron Bowl. He has Auburn upsetting Alabama. I. That's a tough. That's a tough one. That's tough. That's uh. That's. That's a tough one. I, 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 I was living, I was working at Walmart at the time, and uh, we had the the bank had the we had a bank in our, they left it on ESPN or no they actually put it on TBS before they closed the bank because of course being an iron bowl and there was maybe five people in the whole store including the employees <laughs> we were we were finish customer run down to the TV watch that we got a customer. Come back to the register, clear them out, go back, watch the TV all night. Well, my one of my coworkers came screaming, just carrying on like they like they had won the damn championship. And you know, I found out a few minutes later that you know kick six. Yeah. Like, David called the timeout. And in Sam's defense, he was the right call. I mean, it's a one in a million fight. Take the chance. Yeah. You know, yep. first thing that happens to all up. You know, you never think, but now, six years later, you know that you got to put on, you know, you make a, take a long kick like that. You put on, you put out a, 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 a couple of tacklers uh, to cover the outside. Mm -hmm. So you have some, you have a little bit of defense for that. So, you know, I think, but with me, you know, I would have, you know, I would take the back shot. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, and, you know, Anything can happen in a rival game, you know. So I mean, this is four months of the season. Correct. Where you got yeah. The big upsets are under at the beginning of the season when everyone's coming into school. Everyone's just getting reacclimated. You know, everyone's been out of school for five or six months. Everyone's been out of football. You know, we've been in football. We had spring game. No football for two months. We had football for a month. And everyone's fresh, everyone's squared up, you know, and, and people voting for the best big game. Yeah. You can see an upset or two happening in the beginning. Right. The um, Syracuse game, I can see that being an upset. Okay. So, that's when the others upset that everyone's tired, everyone's hurt, no one can have a set of 100. Yeah. Next one he has, he has Virginia upsetting Notre Dame on the 28th of September. Do you see that happening? Ah, uh, what's this? September 28th. So you'd have to look at the Michigan schedule to see when they play them. Yeah, let me, let me, yeah, okay. Let me um, okay. The other one, is that, was that the last one? Uh, the last one is he has Nebraska beating Ohio State on the 28th. That might happen. It's in Nebraska. They're in Nebraska. Yeah. Yeah. He has Nebraska beating, knocking off Ohio State. Well, I mean, it would it would it would definitely help you guys out, you know, going into the season. Uh, have I, them knocked off early. No, I really haven't undefeated. I really going haven't into the undefeated game. Ohio State. But I really haven't undefeated Ohio State personally. Uh, I I especially if we're looking at you're looking at an undefeated Alabama and an undefeated Clemson. You know, a one loss, Ohio State, mm -hmm. you know, especially if you lose to Notre Dame, that's gonna hurt. Yeah. You know? Okay, so that's before the that's before the Michigan game. Okay. Yeah. You know, like Nebraska, Nebraska knocking off Notre Dame. 
No, he's got Virginia knocking off Notre Dame. He's got.